Hi everybody, it is Doug. I've got an interesting Rolex question for you. In fact, it's a question that most watch collectors seem to have some version of this type of a question as they're building their collections. And uh, so I'll present the question and then I'll actually answer it at the very end the way I would. Enjoy. Okay, everybody. So the question is, if you had $15,000 and you were going Rolex shopping, would you buy a combination of blue and black Rolexes? Uh, the one on the left is the Datejust 41. This is the all stainless steel. It does not have the white gold fluted bezel. Uh, it does have the Jubilee bracelet on it. That is uh, $7,450. And the one on the right, of course, is the Iconic Submariner, uh, no date, which uh, is the 114060. Uh, that is also $7,450. While both of these are, are difficult to get, they're not impossible to get. You may just have to wait a little bit if you're going through your uh, authorized dealer. If you're going gray market, they are uh, you know, usually about or a little bit more than what the list price is. So, uh, but once again, you're, if you add the two together, you're looking at about $15,000 for kind of like a, a, a sporty, or I should really say a dressy sport watch. And then the other one is like a true uh, sport watch. And you've got the black and the blue. So once again, for 15,000 bucks, would you do that? Or would you buy a single black and blue Rolex, uh, the GMT? This is the 126710BLNR, uh, BL, blue, and NR, noir, which just stands for uh, blue and black. Uh, so this one, of course, is very difficult to get. Uh, I was just very fortunate to be able to get this. And while I was able to get it at my AD for, you know, regular price, which is 9250 bucks. On the gray market, which is the way that most people would have to go, uh, you know, these are trading around 15,000, some a little bit more. Uh, I think the prices are coming down, but it's close to around 15 grand. So what would you take? Would you prefer a black and blue GMT ultra hard to get, uh, incredible watch that everybody loves and have a single piece for 15 grand? Or would you take two pieces like this? to kind of mix it up so you can do your little bit dressy or your little bit more sporty. Uh, two different bands, you've got the Oyster, you've got the Jubilee. Uh, looking at the two watches, this one of course is really almost the marriage of both of these. So it has the blue from the date just 41, you know, on the dial. It has the Jubilee, you know, the dressier uh, band uh, from the date just 41. And then it has the case and the sportiness of the uh, of the Submariner all kind of mixed into one. So, and in my opinion, for a single watch, this is a pretty freaking awesome watch to have because it can do anything from dress to sport. Uh, the band is extremely comfortable and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So, and it, it is pretty, um, as you see it, I'm just moving it around a little bit, but it uh, it sparkles a lot. So it gets a lot of attention and it's a beautiful, beautiful watch. But uh, if you could comment below, I'd love to find out what you would do. Would you do if you had 15,000 bucks and you were spending it on, or, on watches and Rolexes in particular, would you like to do or would you do the GMT? Or would you do a combination of a Datejust 41 and a Submariner. So what would my answer be? The single watch that's like the killer watch or the two? And I think, I mean, true, well, luckily I have all three, <laughs> so I'm happy about that. In fact, I'm actually gonna maybe try to expand my collection. I would like that all elusive Daytona to make it the, for me, the perfect uh, you know, Rolex collection. But if I had to choose, you know, I can only either do the one or the two, I think I'd have to do the two. Uh, it's just, you know, I just enjoy uh, being able to, you know, mix up my watches. I really enjoy, um, you know, whenever I feel a little bit uh, more in smart attire, you know, putting this one on. And then of course, if I just want to totally hang out, 
even just in uh, blue jean shorts and whatever. Uh, putting this on, I think it uh, it's just always looks awesome. So for me, I would have to choose the two. But like I said, please answer below. I'd love to hear what you think. Bye.